Hello again, it's Rick here from The Game Creators and we've got a brand new alpha build for everyone who's pre-ordered App Game Kit Studio. This is the build. I'm going to run through very quickly the new features to look out for. There's a change log that you can look at the detail with. Now let's have a look at what's new. So in the media file section you've now got some buttons that allow you to change the size of the thumbnails. People with bigger resolutions were complaining that the thumbnails were too small so that's a new thing and you can also refresh directory should files have updated and the OS not caught up. In the scene editor in draw mode we've got a new layer system so you can draw on different layers. You select a layer and then place down your objects, select a different layer and draw above them. I'm going to do a separate video detailing how that all works next week but just to let you know that's available so you can play around with that. We had some people asking about restoring the windows uh, at their exact positions, like positioning these up here, whatever your format is. Well, if you now go to Preferences, and in the IDE tab, you can click on this tick here, Restore Layout on Startup, and that will ensure everything is reset every time you reload, It's just as you want it. In the Scene Editor, we have Sprites, Text, Virtual Buttons, and Edit Boxes. Let's add a text object. There we are, we can position it, we can scale it. The properties are over here on the right that we can change. Change it to say something else. And we're going to support fonts in the next version, so you'll be able to choose which font you want. So that's uh, text, virtual buttons. Quick way to add some buttons to your scene. Again, all the properties are here that you can change, and the text and so on. And edit boxes, so you can get inputs from the user, and those can be changed and edited. And we're going to be bringing more features for edit boxes in the next version. Let's just remove those. Go back to sprites. Here we have a scene with some sprites. Click on a sprite, and we can see we've got enable physics, so we can define the shape of the physics object. This is a circular object. So let's just do test mode. You can see that that bounces around. It doesn't roll though. Let's just stop it and click on can rotate. Play again. Now watch it. It's rotating. I'm going to do a more detailed video about the physics properties, but have a play around. It's a lot of fun. In fact, what you can do is go down to these values here, and you can see the, the scene gravity, X and Y. Why don't we just invert the gravity like so? Everything floats to the top. Or you could even do it in the X axis. One final thing is, if you drag and select and then get down to the bottom there, you can scroll the screen. That didn't used to work before, and the same for up. So, check out the change log. Remember, this is an alpha build. There may be a few bugs still. We're still working on new features, and we're bringing those very soon to you. If you're still not pre-ordered, it's a great time to do so in April. There is 40% discount on App Game Kit Studio. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel to receive more updates as we publish them. Bye for now.